What is going on, my friends, my family? 2020 is here, and it is in full gear. Now, I have an unboxing that I did on Monday, and today I'm going to review that company. I'm going to give them an FRS score, put it up on the website for you guys all to see, and hopefully you go check this out because this is a brand new company just launched January 1st. So if you're into finding out about new beard companies, beard tips, beard tricks, marketing, all of the above, I try to uncover these hot new companies that feel good in my beard and pass them along to you. So if that's something you're into, consider hitting that subscribe button. And for all you longtime watchers, and when I say long time, I mean We've only been doing this a year. We're not even at the year anniversary. January 29th is the one year anniversary of Fully Bearded. And I'm super pumped about that. But today, I want to tell you about a little company out of Buda, Texas. Buda. It's Buda. I stand corrected. It's not the Buda beard. It is Buda. B-A-U-D-A. Buda, Texas. I kept thinking in my head, like, B E A U D A. It's like B E A U Da, Buda, not Buddha, Buda. But anyway, we're gonna call it Buddha. But that company would be Defined Beard Company. So check out that sticker. Uh, got that in with the package. We got a cool little card here from Carrie, the owner of Defined Beard Company out of Buda, Buda, Texas. And we're gonna get into that right after this. All right, we're in, we're in, we're, we're past the first intro of 2020, past the first intro of 2020. And I want to tell you about Define Beer Company, a company out of Buda, Texas, owned by Carrie. Now, Carrie has been growing a beard, much like a lot of them, growing a beard, getting it going. But he decided at one point that he's going to try to do a beard company. So he'd been using Boss Man brands a lot. He, he worked with Stephen Condon. He... He has a backstory with beards and, and all those things, and he thought to himself, well, you know, maybe I should try messing around with this. Maybe I should come up with some crazy scents, some cool stuff, and start doing this. So he started paying attention, started participating in the beard community, and really his main goal was, I'm going to pay attention, I'm going to learn, I'm going to learn, I'm going to research, I'm going to learn, and I'm going to do this the right way. And I talked to him a couple months ago, and he talked about the launch coming up, and I'm like, dude, that's like two months away. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm today, I'm tomorrow, I'm next week. You're like two months from now holy cow well that two months has come he launched and i got some awesome stuff to come and show you guys about define beer company now like i said he's been researching for over a year trying to get everything launched launch ready he wanted to be a hundred percent ready when he launched now i don't know if you can ever be a hundred percent he's pretty darn close to having the marketing, the labeling, the design, everything down. And just on Wednesday, he launched his website. Now, I take I took a look at that. I went through the website, and I kind of picked it apart. I gave him some advice on things to fix. He already fixed them, so, I mean, that's awesome. But let's talk about the beard oil first. So when we do the Faithful Ranker score, I rank out the beard oil, the balm, the butter, the wash, the co-wash, and the company. I add them up, I divide them by the number of categories of things that I get to come up with a company-wide FRS score, and then I go put that up on faithfullybearded.com under the FRS section, along with a discount, which I do have a discount for you. So we start with the oil, and when I first open this uh, package, now you can see the presentation on Monday's video, go back and watch that, but when I first open the package and I pull out this oil, I am really impressed with this clear bottle. This bottle is something completely unique and different and nice to see. It's clear. You have that clear bottle with the white and black label, and there's really all the information on here that I could want. So you have the name, you have the company name, you have their social media, you have the ingredients, you have a scent profile, and really pretty much everything that you're going to want to see on here. Now. He, came, he he has the name the Defined Beard, right? And so the name came about because he was thinking of names for the company, obviously. But he's like, I gotta think of a name that's like, defines people's beards. Oh, and then boom, then dang, he just hit it. He hit it home right there. So on this scent right here, we have 1626. Now, 
Let's talk about the design here for a minute, and I'm rating the design pretty darn well. I just happen to like the clean, simple look. I think it looks awesome. But you have a sweet almond oil, fractionated coconut oil, argan oil, jojoba oil, vitamin E, essential, and fragrance oils. You have a drip stop topper, a drip stop topper on there, and then uh, you have these nice labels. Now, when I smell this, this particular one is 1626, and the, the name comes from because 1626 is a highway that runs through Buda, so we're, we're going to go cruise the 1626. I'm going to pop top down in the Camaro, cruise the 1626. I'm going to go hit up the ice cream parlor on the 1626, you know, something like that. I can just imagine in Texas, it's like hitting up the 1626 to go swimming, go jump in a pool to go get ice cream with our 10-gallon hats on. And this scent is just a really clean cologne scent, and I like this. Now, this is a little bit lighter than the other scent that I'm going to talk about. And this was the four to five hour range for me as far as duration, but the feel is really good. I really like this feel. I didn't need to use a balm or anything with it. I could just go with just the oil in this uh, company, and I really liked that. The other scent is Psycho Billy Quiff. And if you're not familiar with what a Psycho Billy Quiff is, it's a haircut. Uh, from the 50s and 60s and that's why on here you can see right here there's a comb and a scissors um, same thing uh, same label just different um, scent in here and this is just another cologne type scent it's a little bit more of a scent this is the six to seven hour range um, but they're both really clean cologne-ish type scents to me now he says that the psycho billy quiff is like a barbershop scent to him uh, but it's not like your talcum powder, baby powder type barbershop. It's more of like a high maintenance salon type barbershop scent. Something that, and and I can I can get that. I mean I can get that, but I wouldn't even you know me personally I wouldn't even put it as a barbershop. I would say it's more of a cologne esque type scent. So the feel and beard was good. The scent duration um, not as long as I'd like it. And I know it's something he's going to work on. But the scents I really did enjoy. The feel I really enjoyed. I enjoyed the, the design and the label. So with the oils, the FRS score for the oils today is going to be a 9.1. 9.1 on the oils. They felt really good. Now, since we're done with the oils, that moves us on over to the balms. And I bet you're just dying to see what these balms look like. So let's start with the Psycho Billy Quiff. You got a 2-ounce tin with that white and black label the only color you're going to see here is the social media icons and it's a twist top you know i like twist tops the pull tops just don't do it this is a twist top and you got that white beeswax in there so you got a nice white balm with that beeswax that white beeswax and you got a nice little lid and label design there so i really 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 enjoy that i think it's something that um hits the design side of it out of the park and with the 1626 you have the same thing on the back you do have all the stuff that you would like to see which is the ingredients and the um, fragrances so when we talk about ingredients here we're going to talk about shea butter beeswax sweet almond oil fractionated coconut oil jojoba oil argan oil and vitamin e and it is that nice white beeswax the scent profile is the same as the oil. It doesn't really get any different. Now, the first day I used the balm, I wasn't. I was kind of unsure, so I skipped a day. Then I used it again, and then I used it again. And this is definitely your moisturizing light hold balm. So when I think about a balm, I think about a hold. I, I'm, the purpose of a balm to me is to hold my beard, to hold the flyaways. So when I get light hold balms, I tend to rate them a little bit lower because that's more on the butter side of things. So this is a borderline butter, in my opinion, a little bit more hold than a butter. A little bit it, it's a mix between the balm and the butter he calls it a balm i can see it as a light medium a medium light it's between light and medium but more towards the light side but it does really a nice well uh job of conditioning the beard so between the scent the feel and the style of the balm i came in at an 8.8 .8. i think it could be higher ranked if it was a higher hold um, but that's not what he was going for he doesn't label it as a high hold he doesn't label it as a medium hold but for me personally my recommendation would be to increase the hold on the balm and then come out with a conditioning butter 
or have a conditioning bomb and a higher hold bomb. Something for the folks that do like a higher hold um, in the bombs because bomb lives still matter. Bomb lives matter, that's right. I still love to use bombs and I know plenty of old school guys even new school guys that like to have a bomb. So that's just an option that I could foresee for him to do is something along those lines with a hard hold bomb. But the bombs coming in at an 8.8 .8 is still a fantastic job, still a nice uh, presentation and product that is, is worth it in my opinion. Now there's no wash or co-wash or butter um, to rate on the FRS score. So I didn't rate them out and they're just nulls all the way across the board. But that takes me down to talking about the company and with the company I talk about like their social media presence, their presentation, their website, their design, the communication with the owner and all of those things are really well. Like I said, I picked out, uh, I picked apart his website. I told him a couple changes that I'd like to see just marketing type things, uh, a button that was different colored and it didn't really flow with the theme. So I was like, change that a little bit uh, to match the rest of the theme. Um, ease of use, uh, for instance, one thing he didn't have bundles on there. I was like, people want to buy an oil and a bomb together let's have a bundle pricing so when you you know when you talk about pricing right away you talk about $15.99 for a one ounce oil I think that's just right on market average you talk about $16.99 for a two ounce bomb and again that's right on average now I asked him I was like are you going to have a bundle and he said yeah I'm trying to get it on the website right now so hopefully by this video it is on the website but that's going to be $29.99 so you save yourself a couple dollars if you go with the bundle um, and again that's something that I was advice for the website and something that I really appreciate um, the website again just launched on the first so i could see some changes with that but it's a really nice clean simple website and it goes with his look now as a company that just launched on the first of the year so it's a three day old company you can tell that he did his homework and he did his research and that things in this company are doing really um that, that he paid attention and he wanted to launch it right so i don't really have any feedback from with that i would i would like to see just a little bit different um, labeling maybe. I don't, again, I don't have anything wrong with this, but if you can see this on the camera, um, you could see some oil going through the white and taking that around a little bit. Um, if you can't see it because of the lighting, no, you can't see it because of the lighting, bonus for you, but the, the oil that did spill a little bit um, got on the label and kind of made it see through. Um, other than that, I'm not a big dropper or a, bi a big drip stopper type guy um it doesn't really come out you have to like tap on it to get it to come out um which i i just don't like drip stoppers for some reason i'd rather an eyedropper or a different type of drip stopper to where the oil comes out a little bit easier maybe even no drip stopper at that point you can just put your finger over it and tip it something like that so i take the oils the bombs and the company frs scores i add them up wait I didn't do the company up our score. That's a 9.04, by the way. 9.04 for the company. So now I take those three up, I add them up, I divide them by three, and we come up with the overall FRS score for Defined Beard Company out of Buda, Texas. That's right, Buda, Texas. And the overall FRS score is a 8.98. So we started at seven. We're ending up at an 8.98, which I'm going to round up to a nine. So he's coming in at a nine presentation is king product is king so many good things with this company he did his homework the products felt great they smell great usually when i do a review there's one where i'm like this is just not my style this is not my style this both that he has are my style they are a clean cologne scent i wish they last a little bit longer i wish there wasn't a drip stopper but these are all just advices uh, from my personal opinion that I give to him and what he does with them, we'll, we'll see. But I'm super pumped about like a wash, a co-wash, and a butter to come out. I know he has a new scent coming out in February, and I'm excited about that. And we chit-chatted on the phone for quite a while, and I heard about some of his ideas, and I'm just pumped up to see what this company does in the future. So, Carrie, you did a great job launching your company. I am so proud to have worked with you, and I thank you for this opportunity. I hope that uh, you guys try this out. I think it's worth it to try out a new small batch company that is coming into our community. He's participating in things and that's something I love. So if we're gonna participate and buy his products, he's on Instagram participating in our stuff and it's just a, a wonderful circle. And that's just something that I really appreciate from the community. It helps the community grow and, and come together as one. I also do have a discount code for you. It's all caps, FAITHFUL15, which will get you 15% off your order. So that'll go up on the website 
the the FRS score is going to go up on the website, and then we're going to probably do a giveaway for one of these, whether he decides to sponsor one or I pull it out of my pocket. I don't really care, but I want to give somebody, one of you lucky viewers of this channel, a chance, an opportunity to win an oil and a bomb of your choosing from Define Beer Company. So we're going to do that. In order to enter for that, you need to be on the live stream Sunday night. We're going to go on live with swag father at 7 p.m eastern time we're going to talk jesus we're going to talk beards we're going to talk to fine beard company we're going to talk whatever comes our way to talk about and we're going to give some stuff away we got a few different giveaways lined up but one of them is going to be from define beard company because i want you guys to be able to try this out so go ahead give this video a thumbs up if you found it interesting helpful or any of the above share it out with a friend leave a comment down below because that's how we grow. You see that? It rhymed. It rhymed again. I got the rhymes all the times. Oh, no, there's another one. So until I talk to you guys again soon, thank you all very much. I hope you have a blessed 2020. I love each and every one of you that I can call not only subscribers, but friends, brothers, sisters, family, anything in between. And today I am, I do, I are, my coffee. I have my bang. I'm going to stroke this defined man-man, and God bless you all.